hello everyone hope you're right in today's video i'm going to show you my front yard and backyard garden after the recent heat wave which lasted for more than a week and it has been really really hot which we are not used to here in uk this year it has been really dry and warm spring as well as summer so some plants are lacking the change in the weather the plants which like less water and more sunshine and some plants are not which need more water so i'm going to show you how garden is doing here is my front yard and i have got food trees in here and flowers so this is plum tree we harvested the food at the end of july and they were really delicious we have had really good harvest and this is cherry stella tree we had few cherries and underneath i have planted geraniums plyogeniums which most of them i overwintered and the red ones and the pink ones i bought recently here is my container which is showing the signs of drought it needs water we have rain on the forecast for tonight so i am not going to water the garden today so i will wait until it rains and hopefully plants will soon bounce back especially pansies are not looking good they are going to seed and this is okay for pansies to go to seed when it warms up and they like cool weather so hopefully i can dig these plants out and the rest of the plants will bounce back here is my side border which starts with petunias and lobelias doing really well there are some zinnias and snapdragons in there clematis is doing really well this year it's its third year and it has put on quite a lot of growth and it is second flush of flowers it has got really beautiful and magnificent flowers eye-catching i really like it and i want it to fill this fence here is my hard rancher paniculata pink diamond and it is looking at its best this year so the previous years it has been wet and it did not like wet weather so it would turn moldy and blackish and this year it is nice and fresh with these beautiful blooms and underneath i have got hardy geraniums which are starting to put on second flush of blooms roses are particularly struggling this year due to some kind of disease i may just dig out uh, all of these plants and put something nice and fresh in here here are my hollyhocks which are nice and tall looking fresh this year so they like sunshine and hot weather and they are doing really well last year they were just like they started blooming and it rained and rained and they just did not look good here is my climbing rose compassion which had few blooms and it is still young plant so i want this to fill the other side of the fence it has grown quite a lot this year and hopefully in coming years it will fill the fence underneath i have got these cups and saucers plants and hookra which are quite intermingled with each other these cups and saucer plants i started from seed and i expected them to bloom this year but they haven't sent a flower stock yet so let's see what happens here are my gladioli interplanted between other plants and they are starting to send their flower stalks so soon this will be a beautiful show with these purple and orange flowers they look really really beautiful here is my hosta plant which was looking good in the beginning of summer but now it is showing that it's not liking the weather and there's something eating holes through it here is golden road which is starting to bloom and looking absolutely beautiful and eye-catching there are lots and lots of bees and insects on it and it is really the point of focus in the garden at the moment here is my acer tree which is looking really beautiful it is starting to send new shoots which are bright red look good and another hosta plant which is also showing the signs of something getting through i want to say my front yard is mostly in shade it only gets the afternoon sun so the plants are not used to so much sun and some of them are liking it and some are not like hostas and hookahs they like cool weather fences they like cool weather but petunias geranium lavender hollyhocks they are liking it and here is my hardranger macrophylla which is looking good filling up the border and the phlox plants they are looking really good as well full of blooms and this side of border is absolutely beautiful with all these plants in bloom and i can't really praise enough the view which we have got here in front yard everyone who passes by praises our garden and is very thankful that we have got this beautiful space 
and there are some beds which are not as good as they should be but overall it looks good and healthy and absolutely cheerful here's another container you can see the petunias are looking lush and the pencils are now done and my containers which have got junipers as center and petunias as fillers they are doing really good as well here are some containers with dahlia plants and some of them are started from seed especially this one which is on the right side is not looking good it has got infestation bugs are all over it so i'm leaving it as it is so the other plants are not affected by bugs so i can sacrifice one or two plants to the bugs here is the one which i really like but it has got bug infestation as well the yellow one i really don't care about and it's okay um, one or two plants if they get bugs or black flies i can the rest of the dahlia plants are cactus mix which were sent as a free gift from j parkers when i placed an order with them and i want to say they are not really attractive but some of them i like them like this one and the pink one so i may keep three or four of them but the others are not doing as good so Overall, the containers are looking okay and dahlias do not really need much water. They can survive without water for a day or two, even in this hot weather. So that's the plus point. If you want to grow dahlias, you don't need to water them too much. And this one I really like. So I keep three or four of these plants and I will discard the rest of them for next year. So overall, I'm really pleased with how the garden is looking and it is starting to get mature it's been three years we started it from scratch and i think it's really paying off now here is my pear tree which does not bear fruit up until now so let's see what happens in coming years it also got affected by rust last year and this year um it is showing some signs so it may happen again i guess this geranium plant i'm really liking it I got one plant this year and then I divided it and got five or six more plants and then I can overwinter them safely and geraniums are really easy to grow. I have got a full video tutorial on how to divide geranium plants and how to overwinter them so I'll include the links in the description box and you deadhead them so they can bloom longer for you. So I had the red ones and now I have got these pink ones in my collection as well moving on i have got this apple tree which is apple crimson and this year it is loaded with apples but the apples are small and they have got blemishes on them maybe some kind of disease i'm not really sure about it i need to look into it so the fruit are not growing big anyway and i can wait until september to see how much the food grow and then i can harvest whatever i have this is another journey plant which i bought this year and then i divided it and this is also really beautiful so i will recommend you do grow geraniums they are really easy and they can uh, also withstand sun and drought so really easy to grow plants and look absolutely beautiful and stunning apple tree is dropping a success fruit and these two are looking quite good so i will try them to see how they taste in the middle i have got cherry morello tree which we harvested fruit of and i have got lavenders around it which are looking absolutely stunning and beautiful the garden is really filling now and taking this shape let's go to the backyard garden and see what's going there in the backyard i have got this grapevine in this container by the fence and i had some fences here which i caught back so they can bloom again Grapevines are doing really well this year. They are liking the sun and warm weather and they have put on quite a lot of growth. I have got this cable system in place to train them. So I have got two grapevines in two containers. They are doing really well and I can expect some fruit next year. Here is my snapdragon plant and clenchlas which my son bought from school. I planted them here. They are doing good. These snapdragons are from last year and I have cut from them quite a few times and they put on more and more flower stalks so really beautiful plants to grow and here are vecchias which i started from seed they have started to bloom now S behind i have got scabiosa which is still not blooming a uh, few more dahlia plants which i started from seed and i'm liking these ones so i may keep these ones especially this red one i'm really liking it 
and all of them are really nice and fresh better than the ones which i have got in front yard garden and my strawberry tower and this is my osprey and loganberry container i recently pruned these bushes here is my another apple tree which i have got in the container this is dwarf variety ideal for growing in containers it has got a couple fruit which are looking quite fresh better than the ones in the front yard and i have got lots of chilies and pepper plants and egg plants something is eating through the leaves maybe beetles or earwigs i am not using anything at the moment and you can see all the signs of um, bugs eating through plants and there are lots of chilies on the plants and i'm okay with it egg plants especially not do well for me i have been growing them for a few years now and i hardly get any fruit they grow bigger but they do not put on food uh, peppers are doing really well this year they are loaded with food and i can expect a good harvest later on in the season you can see these egg plants they are also infected by spider mites and that's another issue with the egg plants so i may not grow them again in coming years but let's see there are lots of bell peppers as well so overall i'm quite happy with the pepper plants and chili plants here is my blackberry bush in this uh, container and it has got some food which we harvest now and then and they taste really delicious and sweet it's better to grow your own food even if it's a handful you can't really buy that from the supermarket and I like to grow all sorts of food vegetables and flowers and I like to plant them together and use um, as much space as possible in my garden maximum use of the space I have got and I plant quite thick and still I got lots of harvest here are my zucchini plants they are producing zucchinis in good amounts I have harvested quite a lot already and they are still going good leaves are not looking good and here are my marigolds which i just started last month and they are doing okay the baskets are not looking good because of the hot weather they dry out very fast so you can understand i water them but it's okay i think they will bounce back once it rains here is another plum tree which is quite late in producing food i think the food should have been ripened by now but let's see and in this wooden lettuce tray spread i have got strawberry plants which were june dying they are drawn my sweet pea plants rubecchia plants they are doing absolutely beautiful and looking good bees love them and they are all over them petunias i have got few sweet corn plants which are doing good i also planted cauliflowers and cabbages in between other plants i have got some tomato plants in there so it's an absolute jungle in this tray spread and this is how much you can grow in just a, such a small place and you can still harvest lots of food something is eating through the cauliflower and cabbage leaves and there are lots of caterpillars in there in this other raised bed i have got more tomato plants and strawberry plants these strawberries are ever bearing they are putting on another flush of flowers and there are some strawberries as well and tomato plants these are money makers and they got stunted during um, the cold spell earlier in the spring and now they are bouncing back with the heat we have got moving on i have got more strawberry plants in this container this year i have got lots and lots of strawberries and we harvested lots of them already i have got them in freezer which we couldn't consume in time and some of these impatiens are looking good hopefully they bounce back as it rains we have got rain on the forecast for tonight so let's see what happens spring onions they are not doing good in the hot weather and they are starting to form bobs and here is my peach tree which i planted this year and it is looking good kiwi tree is absolutely burnt in the hot weather the leaves have turned brown and crisp and they also got spider mite infestation and i will see a couple more years if they bear any food or not then i may dig it out so moving on i have got a row of planters with tomato plants in there they are cherry tomatoes yellow pears sun gold orange and gardener's delight and they are doing good they are showing signs of water deficiency and as i said i'm not going to water today 
I will wait for the rain tonight to soak the garden up and then I'll see what happens. We are, have been harvesting tomatoes for a couple of weeks now and my kids really like these cherry tomatoes, different colors and they're quite delightful and sweet and I really like this idea of growing tomato plants and I think from now on I'll be growing tomato plants in these tomato cages I should say. These obelisks are really nice and sturdy and I'm really loving the way of how they hold the plants together. Otherwise, it's quite hard to keep the tomato plants upright. Here I have got some pumpkin plants which have got some baby fruit on them and let's see if we can harvest any pumpkin. I planted them quite thick which most gardeners won't recommend but as I said, I want to use my garden to its maximum potential and every inch of my garden space I want to plant it so at the end I can get some harvest because it's not cheap to have an urban garden and there are lots of resources and effort and the food you harvest is not cheap it's much more expensive than the ones you buy in store but still it's worth the effort and worth the money here in this border I have got apple tree which I started from seed and hollyhocks, foxgloves and you can see this is next to the compost bin and it is taking all the nutrients from the compost and you can see the big leaves are so so big and huge. This is the magic of your own homemade compost. Here are cornflowers which are going to seed now so you can collect seeds if you like to grow cornflowers and I sort them for my own collected seeds and they are really easy to grow plants bees and butterflies love them more pepper chili plants they are doing good fences are done now here is my jasmine plant which is really putting on quite a lot of growth this year and it's still flowering due to the hot weather we have got hopefully it covers the pens on this side and i'll be really happy and this is self sown astrosium and you can see the Caterpillars are eating through the leaves. That's okay. I can leave it to caterpillars. Uh, my blueberry bush is not going good this year. I have been feeding it. And let's see if it bounces back or not. Clematis is burnt and crisp due to the heat wave. Here in the greenhouse, I have got more tomato plants which are doing okay. Eggplants which are still infected by spider mites and they do not put on any fruit. I only have one eggplant which. I'm leaving to collect seeds so let's see what happens I do not get any success with growing eggplants tomatoes we are plenty of them and we have been harvesting quite a lot this is tomato tumbler they are also nice and delicious plants are not looking good they are brown and yellowing um, leaves which is due to the water and nutrition deficiency I have been feeding them and they're producing enough for me this is my Kalamundan orange tree and it has got lots and lots of flowers due to the heat wave so it is really lacking the heat wave and my Kumkon tree it has bounced back this year. So there are some plus and some negatives of the weather we have got. Some plants are really liking it and responding to the heat wave and some are not. I guess you get some you lose some and this is how the gardening goes every year. Every year is different. Every year you get to enjoy some plants and you may lose some others it's okay you should be prepared for that and you should plan better for next year so these are uh, tiny teams they are loaded with cherry tomatoes and there are some bigger ones in there which are beefsteak tomatoes Roma Italian I guess and we have already harvested a few of them and they're quite nice and delicious so everything is trying to do its best and we are having plenty of harvest and beauty which we get to enjoy is paying off itself all the efforts which we did to grow this garden so this is like urban backyard garden with brick paving and we have got the seating area it's low maintenance we don't need to mow any grass and it also saves water and here are some um, fabric bags with cabbages and cauliflowers in them I planted them quite thick but the, my plans are once the other plants are done I can plant them there cauliflowers are ready to harvest they are looking good 
and this one i think is going to seed so i will harvest whatever is in there this is really good cauliflower variety year round and this basket is looking good and i have got more zucchini plants in here which are also showing signs of nutrition deficiency or maybe bug infestation but we are harvesting zucchinians that's all what matters and you can see these caterpillars having a nice feast here so there are lots of them so they can enjoy whatever they have for them in this garden and i'm quite happy with how the garden is growing i think and not only we are enjoying the garden there are other wildlife bats, fox insects which are enjoying the garden and our neighbors they like the garden and i'm quite happy with how it has turned out i think all the efforts we did to grow this garden from scratch in the past couple of years have really paid off this year and i can only hope for better and better in coming years so i hope you enjoyed watching this tour of my garden and some of the harvest i have got please give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so you don't miss out on any of my gardening videos thank you very much for watching today see you next time bye